Do you want to grow on Twitch in 2023? What's up, mate? My name is Twitter, and if you've never heard of me, I help people grow on Twitch. Last year around this time, I put out two YouTube videos, and I was surprised with the amount of positive feedback that I got on them. It means a lot to me that you guys learn from me, and it brings me immense joy watching you guys take these tactics, apply them to your Twitch, and grow. I plan on continuing these type of videos. However, I would like to tell my full life story once I hit 100,000 subscribers. It's been a lifelong goal of mine, and I would love to tell my full story once I reach it. If you want to support me on this journey, go ahead and subscribe. It means the world to me. If you want to work with me personally, stay to the end of this video where I'm going to be discussing my management program. I started streaming in late 2019 and stopped streaming three months later in 2020. I have a marketing agency that I run full time, however Twitch has always been a true passion of mine. I applied my marketing tactics to my Twitch channel and started seeing some serious growth right away. As you can see in these three months, I got a couple hundred subscribers and I made roughly $500 from Twitch via subs and donations. I didn't stream as much as I should have and I regret it deeply, however I have a lot of fun making these videos and helping upcoming streamers grow on Twitch. In May of 2021, I put my marketing to the test when I started working with at Julia's Not Live, who at the time didn't have any followers on social media or Twitch. She approached me and wanted to start streaming but had no idea where to start. We developed a plan and she started streaming mid-May and started seeing some serious growth immediately. She streamed for six months and decided to take a break, however in those six months she got over 2200 subscribers and averaged over 50 viewers. You could see her peak viewer count was over a couple hundred and she was rated several times. But the question is how did she do it? How did she go from zero to hundreds of followers to thousands of followers in such a short period of time? I'm going to be breaking down this exact strategy that we use and the exact strategy you need to use if you want to grow on Twitch in 2023. Your first step is to develop your brand in a way that's unique to you. For example, if you're an Overwatch streamer and you strictly play and stream Overwatch, develop your brand to be centered around that. However, if you're a variety streamer, then you want to develop your brand around you as a person, using a picture of you or of an avatar that represents you so that your viewers build that personal connection with you and follow you wherever you go. You're going to want to make an Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook account all dedicated to your streaming brand. The reason for this is because this is the only way you're going to start to build a fan base. Twitch has terrible discoverability, meaning unless you're using these other platforms to find viewers, no one will ever find your stream. That is why you need to focus on building a brand on these other platforms and slowly transferring that fan base over to Twitch. If you are streaming on Twitch as your only chance of being discovered, the only sliver of hope that you have is if some big streamer raids you. This video isn't about hope or chance, this is about doing the work that's going to get you to where you need to be. Once your image is developed and you have the fundamentals to your brand, you can move on to step two. Step two is simple, and I know you've heard it a hundred times, but it's easily the most important step. You need a very strict schedule. I don't mean strict as in streaming intense hours every day, I mean strict as in how hard you follow it. You need to create a schedule and never stray away from it. Humans are complicated, and unless you're streaming cat TV, humans are the only audience that you have. Therefore, you need to do things that will make it easier for humans to watch you. For example, most humans have very complicated schedules in life. Most have jobs, families to take care of, responsibilities to uphold, etc. Trying to get humans, especially adults, to have time to watch your stream isn't easy in the slightest. However, streaming the same day every week at the same time allows your audience to build you into their routine. Even if they miss your stream today, they'll see that they missed it and they'll try everything they can to fit you into their schedule next week. If you rely on go live notifications to bring you viewers, it'll only last for so long and day after day you'll have less and less people clicking on that notification. Whereas if you embedded your stream schedule into their brain, as soon as the clock turns three, their brain automatically goes to you. Step three is a lot like step two in a sense that I'm sure you've heard it before. However, it doesn't take away from the fact that it's extremely important. Step three is creating clips of your streams and turning them into TikToks and implementing this into your streaming schedule. For the best results, you want to stream once or twice a week, and the other days you want to be focusing on content creation. In an ideal world, you're posting TikToks of your clips every day, even the days that you're streaming. The days that you're not streaming, you should be focused on creating these TikToks, that way you have enough content stacked so you never have to go a day without posting. The main reason for this is platforms like TikTok and YouTube will reward you if you're posting regularly. I don't mean in a literal sense, like they will reach out to you or pay you, but I mean in the platform's algorithm will reward you by pushing your content to that much more people. For example, if you post a TikTok every day at 3pm, over time TikTok will push your clips out to more and more people because you're in that routine of posting at 3 o'clock every day. The next step is simple and one that you shouldn't even have to think about. Study your analytics and figure out what type of content is working best for you. For example, let's say you post a TikTok every day for a week. Ideally, each of these TikToks are a bit different in a sense that what the content is, what type of humor it follows, the subtitles, what captions, hashtags, etc. For each of these new TikToks, you want to experiment with these four things, changing each of them. Study the numbers and figure out which of these types does best for your content and focus on only making that type of content. You should not only be studying your TikTok analytics, but your Twitch analytics as well. When you have a stream that does better than usual, ask yourself what was different about this stream. Did I interact with chat more than usual? Did I play a different game? Did I tell a specific story? 
story, you want to ask yourself these questions so you can narrow down exactly what is performing well for you, so you can try to replicate that and continue the growth. You want to do the same thing for YouTube and all other platforms. Experiment and figure out what video tags works well, figure out what hashtags to use for Instagram and Twitter. It's all an experiment. However, if you post a lot of content, a certain style of yours will start to pop off, and that's when you can tune in and really crank out hundreds of that type of content. The final step to the system is the easiest yet the hardest at the same time, dedication. You need to really want this lifestyle if you want to start chasing it now. You need to be fully dedicated to grinding on Twitch because for some people it's our only option. Growing up, I idolized early streamers such as Syndicate, and ever since it's been my dream to make content full time. I would love to come back to streaming, and I will soon. However, I would like to focus on cranking out YouTube content and reaching my goal of 100,000 subscribers. I never want pity when I talk about my upbringing. I'm just excited to tell my story and get other people's opinions on everything that I've been through. Personally, I know that there are people out there that have been in much worse situations than me, but if me talking about my grandparents wrestling on the floor for my pistol helps anyone feel less alone, then my goal is complete. You may think that I'm making that up, but it's true. It was my 380 Smith & Wesson, and I thought I could trust my grandma to hold it. Turns out that was a mistake. I'm going to tell this story and many others in my Draw My Life videos, so make sure that you subscribe and stay on the lookout for my 100,000 subscriber video. Thank you all for watching, and I truly hope you learned something from this. If you are interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I have opened my management opportunity to upcoming streamers. Basically, I work with you one-on-one -on -one and tell you exactly what you need to do if you want to grow on Twitch. So I take a deep dive in all your social medias, I look at your Twitch, I take into consideration exactly what you're streaming, the exact type of content creation that you do. I take a deep dive into everything and then create a specific plan for you and help walk you through that plan to make sure that you do grow on Twitch. It's more personable and I talk with you one-on-one -on -one a lot so if that's something that you're interested in message me on Twitter. Again I appreciate all of you for watching. Thank you.